In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass in Madden 23. What's good, guys? My name is Cody. Just want to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be giving you some tips for beating man-to-man -man coverage out of the trips tight end formation. I believe that trips tight end is the best offense in Madden 23. And if you want to learn my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you're in the Patreon. The link is down in the description. All right, guys, trips tight end. We're going to be talking today about how to pass in Madden 23, some really good concepts that will apply to other formations. We're just going to be showing them and illustrating them out of the trips tight end. I believe it is the best offense in the game. And again, if you want to get all my ebooks, make sure you sign up for our Patreon. Ten dollars gets you access to everything. The link is down in the description. We're gonna be dropping a really cool update for the trips tied in players uh, tomorrow. That's gonna really teach you how to absolutely attack the dollar meta, which I think you're gonna start to see a lot of more pro players utilize. All right, guys. So like I said, we just want to show you how to attack man-to-man -man defense. We're we'll coming out in the play PA counter go. And I'm in the Detroit playbook. I like it because it has the play X spot. And um, we're going to go ahead and set the cover four drop as an audible. And we're going to use cover one robber. Now we're going to come out in the play PA counter go. You see I have PA shot post and X spot as audibles. You could also utilize the play curl flat as it does have some really good man beating routes within it. But I really want to showcase a specific route that I really like against man-to-man -man coverage. And that is the motion over in route or motion over slant um, in combination with this uh, little post to the triangle player. So what you're going to do is it's going to give you kind of a high low read in the middle of the field. You're going to snap the ball here. And a lot of times this post will get open right in that little pocket right there. Now, why we like the corner route is because the corner route does sometimes win against man to man coverage. I will say that it's not 100 percent consistent unless you do have an ability there. So I do recommend putting, you know, like a Kyle Pitts with short and elite but you can actually kind of build around this for example pa counter go same basic concept now we're gonna have a crosser and a little underneath in route and what you'll see here is this little out route you see that's jalen ramsey with one step ahead going up against um my tight end who i believe is kyle rudolph in this video so you can do a lot of stuff with these little rounded out routes that a lot of people kind of sleep on from the trips tight end formation i'm gonna show you another really good man beater uh within this and it does allow you to have the best pass protection in the game in my opinion out of a play action play so what we're going to do is we're going to motion our triangle receiver to the left you're going to see that it's going to create a hidden motion where he's not going to go all the way out to the right side and then from there i like to kind of do a couple little things here um, if you do have tight end apprentice, which we do are able to now get tight end apprentice and mutt, you can put your tight end on a crossing route. If you don't have tight end apprentice, then my recommendation would be to drag the tight end. I think dragging the tight end is one of the most underrated ways to attack man-to-man -man coverage in this formation. And then from there, you can honestly do whatever you want on the backside. We could put a comeback route out there if we want to try that against man. If you have outside apprentice, you could put a skinny post or a C route. Those are really good routes this year against man-to-man -man coverage as well. Um, you could leave him on the fade. There's a lot you could do, but really our primary read here is going to be, you're going to see this crosser and this in route are going to get in really soft spots within this man-to-man -man coverage. So we're able to beat man-to-man -man coverage in a variety of ways. One of my other favorite tips for man coverage is to do a little switch concept with the tight end and the running back. A lot of times if they're running the nickel 3-3 meta defense the meta blitz out of nickel 33 this is a really really good uh setup because what you'll see a lot of times is we'll get a little switch action here on the running back you can low ball the running back you just don't want to pass lead it and uh it can actually beat man-to-man -man coverage this year even though a lot of people didn't know that um but the other thing that you're going to get with this that i really like is we're going to have some leverage issues within the defense especially for this tight end route as you can see right there he's able to beat man-to-man -man coverage and get about five to ten yards depending on your ability to run after catch now another beauty of man coverage just a simple way to beat and attack man-to-man -man coverage is one of my favorite little tips here at a pa slot corner and I think it's what makes us play my favorite play against man coverage in the game. And that is to motion snap this slot right here. This is a great little feature that they put back into the game. And if they're starting to kind of like think, okay, he's going to attack to the sidelines or whatever. This is a great route combo. We're just going to motion him in a step and snap the ball. And what you'll see is this route will now get off of the jam and you see how it cooks man to man coverage right over the middle of the field. Now, a great way to utilize that route is to use a tight end drag in combination with it. So the user kind of gets into no man's land in terms of how he's gonna have to defend. If he chooses to go with the tight end drag, then we can throw the, uh, the post. If he chooses to go with the post, then we can throw our tight end drag. So a great example of the route combo would be something like this 
or something like this is really decent against man to man you'll see right here that this motion snap is going to always beat man to man and then we also have this corner that's going to kind of get a natural pick and rub if that is open please take that it's one of the most consistent man beaters in the game so these are just a couple concepts for beating man-to-man -man covers that I wanted to put out uh, in, on YouTube here for you guys. If you want to learn everything about Trips Tied In, make sure that you join our Patreon for just $10. It'll get you access to not only our Trips Tied In offensive ebook, we also have a Gun Bunch offensive ebook, and we also have uh, three defensive ebooks. We've got the Dime 236, the Dime or the Big Nickel Over G, and we also have a complete blitzing ebook that teaches you how to send pressure at a high level from every formation in the game. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, make sure you head down in the description below click the link down below and hopefully we will see you guys over at the patreon page